Adonis is your son, and he deserves more than an Adidas press what? run. That's real. Drake. Drake got a kid? Wait! Oh, so Drake got a baby? I, I don't know. Who is Sophie? Hey, Drake! Let me holler at you, pimp. You got a kid? Whew, feels good to be back. What up, though? Roddy Rods, big business. Y'all know what it is, man. Got my Nas nice shirt. It's wrinkled. But if you know me, you know that's how I do, man. You know, I it's my first time wearing this since I've been down here in Florida. I ain't got no iron board down here, no iron. Um, so yes, Nas, Nasir. That's crazy, man. That's crazy. It's funny cause I've been saying Nasir just that's just because in a song with uh, DJ Khaled, uh, we on. He always said Nasir, so I just been saying it. I didn't know the album was gonna be called Nasir. Let me just say this. It's been six six years since Nas last album. If I'm not mistaken, I believe it came out July 2012, like same year as Kendrick's debut album. He and uh, I mean, when have we ever waited six six years for an album like this? Like from, from you know, a dude like this, like Jay Z's retirement lasted three years, my nigga. Like you can double up on him, you ain't retiring. The Eminem was on drugs. And he was only going off about four and a half years, you know, technically less than that, but you know, at the most, four and a half, five years. You got six years, my nigga. No excuse. And you ain't doing drugs or you ain't stressed out because you look younger than ever, all right? I don't know how nice, don't age, <laughs> but you ain't looking old out here, man. You, you've, been, you've been chilling, all right? You said Nas' album done two years ago or three years ago, whatever, on Khaled album. And, and I'm willing to bet all the money in my left pocket that I don't have. This ain't the album he was talking about. We got seven tracks. That's one track per year plus a bonus track. All right. All produced by Kanye West, uh, I believe. Part of the Good Friday thing. So I'm willing to think, I'm honestly thinking he just threw this together too. Like how Ye did. You know, I don't mean just throw it together real quick, but just like on some, let's just have fun with it, make an album. Whatever, let's get into it. Enough talking. Nah, nah, see her. High hopes for this. Y'all know me, man. If I ain't fucking with it, I ain't fucking with it. Nah, is one of my favorite rappers. Uh, I do prefer... I'm not one of those guys I think Illmatic is just the greatest album of all time. I fuck with it, though. I think it's one of his best albums, though. You could say rapping-wise, lyrically, yeah, because he was killing that shit. But as an artist and as a person, I like grown-up Nas. I, I, I like Nas that... Gives you some answers, you know, on top of his question. You know, like Nas that knows some shit, but still lets you know that he don't know it all. Like I like that Nas, you know, and that's that's what we be getting lately. The Untitled album, nigger. Life is good, like them shits bang. All right, still mad, God son. Hip hop is dead, love him. I am. Like you know. All right, let's get to it, man. Track one, not for radio. Feature of Puff Daddy. And zero seventy shake. Oh, what? Why, man? I don't want to hear Puff talk no shit though. Escobar season begins. No, has returned. What are you doing? How you gonna have a check on not for radio when they have Puff Daddy on though? Hey, yeah, we ain't posing for no pictures in twenty eighteen. Candy shit only. Scared motherfuckers. Black Kimmy gods. Black Egyptian gods. Summoned from heaven. Blessed. Okay, hold on. Puff fucked me up. Let me, let me, let me get, <laughs> but that shit came on hard. Like, he cut, he cut Puff short. <laughs> oh, man. Forced the proclamation. Don't get 
Why is Puff so loud, man? Why? Why? Why are we doing this? Let me stop. It's it, it's a New York thing. It, it's a New York thing. Let me stop. Let me go back. Okay, he's pretty much shit. Did not I free the enslaved. Get him. Progress was made because we forced the proclamation. Fuck your proclamation. Too loud. Man. To nigga, Puff on some case slay shit right now. Blocks were created for murder enhancement. Lynches of myth. Colombians created crack. The government made sex. Reagan had house out. Woo! That's true. Fox News was started by a black dude. Also true. Convince my experiences were meant to be. Helps me navigate as they validate their treachery. In my hood, fear does a few things. Make you pussy, make you a snitch. Make you rational moves. Or even turn you to fool. Yeah, this is not for radio, for sure. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about now. This is what I'm talking about. God damn, he dropped us a lot. He dropped us a Some shit right now. Uh, I swear to God, dog. It's not like they cut the puff off. <laughs> It's not like Puffy getting started. And then it just get quiet, dog. I swear, I swear he chopped this nigga Puff shit up, dog. Puff probably went off like five minutes on this damn track, man. I swear. Look, man. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm not listening to Puff. I, 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 I ain't got time for the fuck with him, right? The track was hot, though. Uh, I'm probably putting on, put on speakers and maybe Puff isn't so loud. Because on this speaker, snip, he too loud. I don't want to hear you talk shit, Puff. I don't fuck. I don't fuck with puff like that, man. I just don't, man. Jesus. Track two, cops. But this, that shit was hot. It was. It was hot. Track two, cops shot the kid. Cops used to come around, you know, my neighborhood. Alright, you kids, stop having so much fun. Move along. There's <laughs> a catchy out in front of the store or something. Is it? Richard Pryor. Shotgun, right? Cops. Hey, put your hands up, black boy. Oh. Damn. The classic. Crack the hydrogen in the heat. Cops crawls on the creek. Doing when they round up, we just watch for the sweet. Yeah. It's hotter than July. It's the summer when niggas die. Mm. How in the hell the parents go and bury the young kids, not the other way around? Reminds me of Emmett Till. Let's remind them why Cat Mills. Here we go. Here we go. Stay tuned up and down your timeline. This fake news, people, is all lying. Oh, yeah? Money is being made, one of my prize. Won't be satisfied till we all die. Tell me who we call to report crime. I, I was just saying, this is like some shit Kanye would have for himself, and he rap over. And he, like, it doesn't say he's featured on this, at least. Let me go back. Because, honestly, he sound, he's sounding better on this than Nas is. I'm going to be honest. I know every story got two sides. Mm -hmm. Claiming he's paranoid by the black guy. Cop want to make a home by that time. Just a good kid, he wasn't that guy. Working out of five. Mm. Try to stay alive. Mm. Making ends meet. Shot him this week. I need, I need another nozzle. Yeah. If I'm gonna be honest, when, when Ye hopped on, I don't know if he added something to the beat in the back I was paying attention to, but it sounded better when he hopped on. Like, it, it brought it out more. I don't know, it made it, it made a, you know, brought something to it. Like, uh, I was ready to hear, like, another, another Nas verse, like, 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 you know, a second Nas verse, but it, it just cut it short. Because um, it was like, the sample was there, but the beat wasn't really hitting. It was like, okay, just playing the sample over and over again. But when Kanye hopped on, you know, it brought some. It, 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 it brought it brought some morale to it. I fucked with the track. Um, I would just like another Nas verse. You know, you know something, nigga. This is like this. this, this. Track three, white label. Isn't that that type of liquor? Or am I mistaken? Ripper ass 
Yo, not nasty Nas. Nas be getting nasty, man. He, this ain't the first time he's done this. When you start talking about some freaky shit. Come on, man. 93, nigga. You go, like, just because. In that mouth spin. Nasty. Mm. Look at a nice little blend in. Oh no, it goes up. I thought it was, I thought it was gonna like build up and get a nice little blend in. Uh, look, that sounds like a that sounds like a cool little filler track, like like you know. Nas usually have those on his album where he just spitting, you know, with no hook, just a pause. And the beat. Like he does that on some tracks a couple times, and it's, it's usually dope when it's in the broader album. But seven tracks. Mm. Number four, Bonjour, featuring Tony Williams. I ain't heard from this guy in a while, so let's see. That is, uh, Tony Williams can blow. That's all I'm saying. So. You should be at least get a dope hook this time around. No. Mm. Sign a little bit like the line ribbon. Sure, sure, I'm spoiled. Hit up the shop of friends at the tour. Bonjour. Mm. Show how many girls mm. prepay right before they date. The whip mad it. Mm. What I ask the fattest be it. Thriller jacket. A street mm. metaphor. Of your dog piss on the floor. Put his nose in it. Check these niggas from the door. I think it's like a sample of shit. She that select the kitchens. Come through the south entrance. I arrive, bitches. Crackheads still owe me from 89 fixes. Having drinks in Vegas. Right now, man. Oh my God, we're about to get my whole man to just do his thing. That was a quick three verses. Ooh. Yeah, this is a vibe. This is a vibe right here. Sorry, are you killing me? Oh man, that was a vibe, man. That was just a vibe. Damn, that was three quick verses too. And it was a little bit of storytelling. Yo, Nas top three. I'm just, gonna, I'm just gonna say top three storytellers in my book. So I'm just put it right there. It's just a little bit of storytelling, but then it still came out with the last verse with the uh, just to get shit. Nas nah, be saying shit that I, I be thinking about like. Recently too, like dude just be in my head. Pause. But yeah, dude just be coming with it, man. Like don't get a chick pregnant if you know that's some some of you just stressing. Like come on, B. And uh it kinda reminded me of uh The World is a ghetto. Or a few other songs where he just starts storytelling but then come back with the third verse and just drop a dope ass verse. I fucked with that. Tony Williams did his thing, the beat was hot, it was it was smooth. I know it's gonna sound even better than the whip. That's my favorite track so far. Alright man. Track five, everything, fish in the dream. This is seven and a half minutes long, alright. This shit better be knocking. That's all I'm saying. Seven and a half minutes long, I got the dream on there. First thing I'm thinking is we made it. I'm sorry, it just you know, if we got seven a seven and a half minutes long? We got these other short ass songs that need to be longer? Shit. Oh, my.
That's how we starting it. Y'all not hear the difference in this shit. Look, I don't even think Dream was like that, like the best singer. But do y'all not hear the difference? It's the song. It's the song. Kanye gonna be singing on this whole song, gang. I think Kanye is singing more than the Dream, though. Oh my god. Let's go. It's, it's just such a difference from. You can't sing. I would change anything, anything. I would change everything. Yes. Oh, yeah. God, boy, don't you cry. There's too much life left in those eyes. So much better. Let that face not you die. Mm. They're just human, let them lie. Mm. You just know your world and speak your truth. Let them come to you because you've never been the same as anyone else. Let's go. Don't think the same as everyone else. Let's go. See, you'll never conclude with anyone Ooh. else. Don't think the same as everyone else. Ooh. Ooh. We even got. Oh damn, Nas nah, gonna come in now. Look, all right, y'all tell me, dog. Do y'all hear this shit, man? Do y'all hear the struggle in this nigga Kanye singing voice? Do y'all not hear this shit? Like. He can't hit. Like he's trying to hit a high note, but it's it's not working. Do y'all hear this shit? And it, I could do that shit, B. And then you hear this shit, like. Niggas need to put their egos to the fucking side, all right? Niggas need to throw their egos out the window, all right? The nigga Dream's coming through, doing his thing, all right? Like I said, I don't even think Dream is like the best singer, but he's doing this thing on his track. You got Kanye over here trying to muscle his way into this, this chorus. It's not needed, all right? Y'all can't give me that bullshit about, oh, it's, you know, it's all about the artist and their, and their feeling, because this ain't even his song. All right, y'all give me that shit with J. Cole and how he does his own choruses. This ain't even Kanye's song. So, what's the point of you coming in with these horrible ass vocals? Don't think the same as everyone else. Fucking up the epicness right here, dog. The shit is epic. Look, look, look. This, is the, this is the bass, the groove. Ooh, the shit. I'm ready to go. And then we get this shit. I had everything, everything. Let's go, Nas. When the media slings mud, we use it to build huts. Woo! Refutable facts, merciful, beautiful, black, beloved brother. You fail to embarrass them, harass them. To my life, your life pales in comparison. So go right wherever blood. People do anything to be involved in everything. Mm -hmm. Inclusion is a hell of a drug. Some people have everything they probably ever wanted in life and never have enough. Right? This track had everything. I could change anything. To this nigga track up the second. Where the dream at, man? Where's the dream? On God, bro. On God. From the birth of a child. I'm ready to choke Kanye. Everything. <laughs> everything. I can change anything. Why are we doing this, 
right now, man. Damn. My first house, 11,000 square feet mansion. It was haunted by dead rich whites. Mad a nigga bought his crib. They hang up pictures of black Christ. Circular driveways, black cars, and black ice. My second house, still in my 20s, illin' with money. Killed through ammos, got average on me. I started liking the look like I ain't had no money. Yellow taxi seats over Maybach seats. Just to remind me, just to inspire me. To stay focused, it's a real sick society. Just cause I got your support, don't mean you buy me. I'm buying back the land. Right. By the the pants sag, I put plans in action. To lay claim to Pan African made it happen. Same as anyone else. Don't think the same as anyone else. Let my nigga dream live, B. This track had everything, B. It changed your shit. <laughs> you need to change the chorus. And sit your ass down somewhere. reason though just to show you niggas what just happened here man Nas killed this shit he was talking some real shit that nigga had to dig deep for that he he's talking about back in the 90s I mean back in his 20s when he's buying his first and second house and how he was born out of control the black everything black and, and how it was haunted by white ghosts He's hanging a black Jesus and black ice and everything. Then he's talking about Ferrari we start start getting boring, and he just like fuck it. I'm he start like looking like you broke. Start you know being more fun to him after a while. Like he did it all. Like he really broke it down how he did it all. The beat was building up, going into it. The dream was harmonizing. Here come this nigga Ye with the struggle chords. Like yeah, he had the chorus. Why wow, the dream Ashley sings, and this was some good singing from the dream. Like, why is Kanye singing the chorus when the dream is there? Yo, dream, handle this shit, Kanye. You need to get behind the boards and and do a little more. The beat, the beat was cool, but it could have been better if you were spending more time on it instead of trying to get in front of the mic. Like, you know, speak with your hands, speak with your talent, me. You know, you can't sing. Niggas need to realize singing is a talent. Everybody cannot sing. Alright? If you have somebody who can sing, let them sing. And you you could do this thing with the beats. Bring that no, this shit this shit should have been lavish. This shit should have been extraordinary. Like this should have been one of the best songs of the year. Like this yeah, it was going on we made just that. Like this should have been one of the best nine songs ever. We was we was getting there. But you had to come through and just J. Cole the chorus. That's enough of that, alright? But maybe I'll listen to it over and over again. And maybe the Kanye struggle singing won't bother me as much. I doubt it, but you never know. But this nigga Kanye is legit pissed me. He, like said, he killed on Cop Shot the Kid. He rapping, he killed that show, Cop Shot the Kid. The shit was hot. The shit was dope, but at the same time, it's disappointing. As in Kanye kept hopping in with with the horrible, with the horrible singing on the on the hook. Uh -huh. Track six, I mean, a featuring the dream again. Hopefully this time, <laughs> the dream gets to do his thing. Ah, uh, it was so...
Smart man. Sound like some like some of my like sound like some typical Nas beats. So like the fact that Kanye did them was like okay, nice to have a name on it. But it sounded like you know some typical Nas shit we would got if he did you know just any nigga. Simple things. I'm looking in longevity's eyes. I play with infinity's mind. Forever's my God. Damn. Above your ass, you'll never see I. I love the past. Hold on, man. Damn, man. Never sold a record for the beat. It's my verses they purchase. Without production, I'm worthless, but I'm more than the surface. Want me to sound like every song on the top 40? I'm not for you. Has a turn. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Robin in the store, mm -hmm. but once you can see the same thing, but have a different view. Oh. This nigga Puff does not need to be on track that loud. You know, talking background. So, first listen, seven seven songs. Look, man, sound it's like like none of the songs are bad. Nas nah, is doing this thing too. That's the thing, man. Nas doing this thing in a short amount of time. He talking about some shit. I fuck. We ain't talking about no bullshit. I mean, he took all the way back from, you know, just letting motherfuckers know Abraham being free of slaves to to how I said how he was living when he was false with the money, but uh, in his twenties. But, but now he's how he acting now. His exes and he messing about all players. It's just low blows all through that shit. Like, the cops shot the kid, of course, talking about the cops and shit, shooting kids. Nice to call back to Slick Rick. Uh, uh, pretty much the greatest story of all time. Children's story, like, it's a fucking classic hit song and everything. Slick Rick the Ruler. And that, that might be my favorite album of the whole 1980s right there, too. Uh, the Great Adventures of Slick Rick, so shout out to that. You know that. Like, but nothing. Only... Bonjour was dope. Bonjour was really dope, but everything was. <laughs> it sound like it's about to be so mind blowing. Uh, yeah, nothing on this is like ah mind blowing. Live was the live was like like these seven tracks would be dope if they had you know seven more songs with it and all seven of those songs were better. Like these sound like cool little tracks that would be on a dope album. If like, you know, if you have more, it's, it does, of course it does sound like an album. It does sound complete. Songs are cutting off. Um, 
Let's see what I guess I guess this is an intro and outro. Um But really with the with the type of beats that um Primo was making nowadays, the the type of beats Primo is giving Royce and no ID is giving everybody, like from Jay to to Logic to you know, just everybody no ID producing. He could, you know, he could have had a better, he could have got better production in this. Like, you know, like, the production is not, not that amount of at all. And we all know Nas is notorious for, um, that's one of the things he always gets criticized for, his beat selection and stage performance. But I thought he was done with that. After hearing his last couple albums, I thought, oh yeah, Nas, he, he knows the, the ear for the beast, he, he got it. The, the life is good and, and no ID. And it's like, no, and then he had the fucking Untitled album where he had Paul Don, Don, Cool and Dre. Like, you know, he's messed with top notch producers. And then Kanye is a top notch producer, but he ain't giving no top notch beats. Um, you know, I feel just like Push, Push T album, I feel, you know, he gave Push T some dope Push T type beats. He like, he gave him some Nas type beats, but you could have just got that from DJ Premier and. Like I said, no ID or even Salon Remy or who knows. Like he could, got he could, no doubt. Their producers, this is this album in the game, thinking, dog, I could have gave you some better shit than this. Knife Wonder, like, you know, from the beat level. I can't say shit about like said, the lyrics because he was killing this shit. Y'all can say what y'all want to say, man. Now nah, he was talking that real shit. He wasn't talking about no, no bullshit. He was doing his thing. It was like it wasn't that many hooks too. Like, you know, he was like he was just being nice, he was doing his thing. Uh but yeah, it's not a finished project, man. Like a seven track. Like I said, it's it's been six years too, man. We deserve we deserve better than this. Hopefully he dropped another album soon. And hopefully this was just I don't know, something he just wanted to do with yay. And just get it out there. But I'm gonna listen to it again. I'm gonna listen to it more and more. Um, just because the lyrics is dope and the beats, the beats aren't terrible. I'm not, I'm not saying the beats are just unlistable, but jeez, man, you know, seven tracks, you ain't got time to fuck around. Um, so I haven't heard, I haven't heard the Kid Cudi album. Sorry, I don't fuck cut like that. I heard it's great though. So, but for me, I've only heard this Push T and and Nas and the Kanye album. I still gotta get Push T the edge. Fucked up because Push T ain't talking about shit, but selling drugs. Well, nah, I was talking that real shit, but the sound drug shit was just harder with the beats and the, even the hooks. I pushed it to bring the hooks in the album. This album was pre hookless, except for, you know, a little bit here and there with the Dreams, Home Williams, Kanye, fucking with the horrible hookness. Well, with the, with the horrible single wasn't the hook. All right, my, if you don't know my rating scale, my rating scale. I'm gonna give this an all right, which is like you, you got the classic and just a fire album, and you got the I fucks with it like rap right there, and then the all right, you know, and then you got um, nothing special and trash. It's not trash. It's it's, it's I put it over more than nothing special. I I just give the I say it's is all right, and yeah, that's cause Nas nice. is is killing it. Like I'm gonna have to go back and listen to some more and more lyrics. He because. Nah, it's killing this shit. He's rapping. He was in his own, man. Dude, about 40 some years old. He in his own. But you need to... You need to... How about Primo, man? At this rate? What Primo's out here doing now? Primo, like... I want I want to hear Nas and Primo out. I want to hear... I'm, I'm hearing Royce dropping albums with Primo. I want to hear... I want to hear Nas and Primo album. Fucking... How long, how long have you been in the game? 94... Well, even before that, but you know, Mad came out in 94, 2004, so 24 years. Damn. I want to hear Primo. Or no, no ID. It's funny because I know I'm the only one who's thinking this, that No ID did a whole album with Jay-Z. And, you know, he even took shots at Kanye on the album. Or, you know, whatever. It was spoke his truth about Kanye. So now I was like, oh, Kanye doing the whole, producing the whole Nas album. You know? But shit, maybe no idea. Maybe no idea should do that. Maybe not should have no ideas to it. But, but, it's alright. Let me know what y'all think about it, man. Y'all fuck with it.
Of course, there's people go already going around saying it's an instant classic. Of course. I just think it's alright. Uh, J-Rock. Getting that probably. I think I go to sleep. Probably tomorrow. <laughs> I, I gotta sleep, man. Like, comment, subscribe, and share big business. Aha.